Hey everyone, I'm going to do another tutorial. This one's going to be on resource guards, monitors, and display options. So let's bring up aid. As you see, I kind of already have it ready to go. We're going to be in the current resources tab. Um, the guards and monitors are all empty. Um, primary difference between a guard and a monitor is a guard alerts you when something comes in spawn that matches your criteria. A monitor will alert you on something when, when something despawns that you are monitoring. So um, let's do a monitor first because it's easiest, the quickest. Let's say this Rory fish meat. Let's add a monitor. We right click the, the any any of the current resources we'll right click it, right? Add a monitor. And it's as simple as that. There it is. When that fish meat goes bye bye it's gonna alar alarm and this background color will change to orange and blah 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 and you'll probably get some sounds. Um, once you're done with it you can remove it. It's pretty simple. So that covers monitors. <laughs> Let's go back to guards. <coughs> we can right click and we have all of these options here. Mute sound. That is a personal preference. I it's and it's a global option. Muting the sound here will mute all as just as a tooltip says, it'll mute all sound alerts and alarms. So if you don't like the little Jawa yelling at you, um, by all means use that option. Um, the rest of these are fairly self explanatory. The show from inventory we will get back to. But it, what it does is it includes resources from inventory on display. That's when you click on a guard to dis to display what's in spawn. It'll include inventory, but we'll get back to that. Let's create a basic guard for now. We'll call him Iron Man. And resource class, you can select whatever you want here. I'm going to leave it on iron. Um, let's do an OQ of, say, 960, right? And I'm just going to leave the notes alone and all that. Hit OK. Boom, it's already alarming. It's, it's orange. That means it's alerting. See how the guard is uh, orange? And this is orange. So if I click on this, it's going to show me everything that's in spawn that matches this stat. Anything anything that stat or better is going to display in spawn, right? And then it's also going to weight them. And since since I have show from inventory selected, all this stuff in green here is what's in my inventory and it's going to stack everything up. So you know, obviously I've got some better stuff like, you know, good old Bofa, you know, OQ 1000. Not much going to beat that, right? Looking at an OQ. But again, this is just stat based stuff. Um, you can do a threshold, let's say, um, what would be a, a good one to do that on? Uh, let's do steel. Steel, steel, where are you, steel? It's a long list because it includes everything. Okay, steel. Let's do Steely Dan here. Yeah, why not, right? So, here's the thing. We've got a threshold, and it's grayed out right now. The threshold for weighted guard in the, in the range 0 to 1,000. Now, you, now you, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why is that grayed out? Well, it's a little bit of a, uh, um, a safety mechanism, I guess, because what it means is what you're going to do up here in the top, rather than putting stats in, you're going to put percentages. Let's say we want to look for a steel that is a 50% CD, and a 50% OQ. Since 50 and 50 add up to 100, this is now available. Now say we want to do an 800 threshold. Bang. And we got some Steely Dan in spawn. I'm going to turn off the inventory for the moment just so it doesn't clutter the screen. So we got this stuff here. Musty Steel um, is shooting an 821 rate with a CD and OQ of 50. Okay. Let's edit this and make it something that's actually going to cap. Let's do 960, just to give you an example. See how now it's white. It's a standard white background. There's nothing in That means there's nothing in spawn. It's not alarming. Um, if we if we go back and show from inventory, it's going to if we select that, it's going to show us anything in our inventory that matches this criteria. So anything above a 960 rate with a 50/50 CDOQ. So we got E or whatever the hell it's called, right? The good stuff. Um, 
Right. So anyway, that's the manual way to do it. There are also uh, pre-mades that you can download off of SWG Craft on the forum. I will dig that link up to that thread and put it in the description of this video um, so it's accessible. But I, I do have them downloaded, and what we can do is we can import the guards, right? And yeah, let's leave it BM guards. What the hell? That's one of the ones I download, and any any he, he has one for every profession on there, so it's pretty cool. So let's let's pull these in, and you can see it, it totally filled this thing up with all kinds of stuff. We got BM purity, BM mutagen, um, in in the uh, notes. We'll have to edit it to kind of see the notes better, but I, I suppose that's for an enzyme centrifuge. Um, and that's the gemstone currently in spawn, the vertex. That's pretty good stuff, actually. Um, and, of course, I have the show from inventory turned on, so it's showing me how it stacks up with everything else I have in my inventory. Yeah? I'm going to turn that off for a moment. It just declutters the screen. If you just want to see what is in spawn, you could easily turn that off. Um, all right. So that's that's the imports. I'm going to delete them all and show you another method. If we go over here to the schematics, draft schematics, let's say, uh, well, I'll leave it at pulse cannon. Let's say we want to look for iron. You see how all these kind of highlight as I, as I roll the mouse over them? Let's say I want to look at iron for this thing. I can do. I can either. I can filter the current, filter inventory, or I can create a quality guard. Let's create a quality guard. Pulse cannon. Well, you can name this whatever you want. The default is HQ missing. So, but we'll call it whatever, right? Um, the threshold's 800. Let's leave it at that for the moment, just to see what's out there. I hit OK. Go over, and there is some stuff in spawn that matches that iron. But it looks like the best we have is going to be this camera up here at the top, 893, yeah, four days old. Well, if I edit that guard, I can still change the threshold. Let's bump it up to, say, 960. Say we want a cap value, yeah, so we want 960. Well, nothing is in spawn. Let's show from inventory. Well, let's see, I've got some abofa. That'll do it. So will uh, Tihodo. That'll do it. Either of those irons I have in inventory will cap that thing. But you see, it's not going to alarm on what's in your inventory. It's only going to alarm on something that comes in spawn, right? So let's edit this again to, to show you the difference real quick. I'll put it back down to 800. So it's going to now it's alarming because it matches the 800. And you can see there's all these white guys are the the ones that are in spawn. The green is what's in my what it's matching in my inventory. So, and you can see how these match up to what I already have. It's a very quick way to do it because this rating that it shows here in this column is the value of these stats that you put in, right? It's the sum or whatever. It's the, it's the rating versus like if we were just going to look at it, you know, this is kind of an average of everything whereas this is the, these two specific values. So, all right. So that's, in a nutshell, how guards work. And we already covered monitors. So let's go over to display options. This is real, really self-explanatory, most of it. Um, consider caps, yeah, it's, I mean, most of the stuff you just want to leave default, max hours. Um, I guess if you don't want to see all the resources, like say you didn't want to see something over 15 days old, if you just don't care, you can put something in there, you know, and check it, but uh, whatever. Um, these guys over here is the, the, the limits on the color coding. Defaults are probably going to be the best on that. You can change the colors by clicking these little colored buttons, like fair. You click that, and it brings up a color picker. And if you if you don't like the defaults, you can darken that up, whatever. You can completely change it, whatever you want to do with that. So, you know, same with say in great. Say we want to make that a darker red, bong, and boom, there we got darker reds. So, 
Um, so that pretty much covers the display options. Um, I think I covered everything in that, so I'm going to sign off for now, and thanks for watching.